Cheryl Barton had a really good question, uh, which I'm just curious about. So speaking of pay raises, has the escalating uh, pay raises and like salary requirements for pilots and flight attendants affected the morale of maintenance technicians? <laughs> Doesn't it always? <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, as a, as a whole, that's a pretty easy resounding yes. Um, you know, and that's that's one of those things you have to have an open conversation about with everybody. You know, set realistic expectations and say, look, you know, we're in this you know extreme fluctuation right now. What you see out there isn't necessarily what's going to happen in here. You know, we're working on whatever you're working on. Be honest, be upfront, and don't tell them anything you're not really working on. Because, you know, as hangers work, rumor spreads, people talk, and, uh, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be pushing bad information out there. You know, I, I side with honesty and communication 100% on that all the time. That's funny. I have. I was going to reference. She has a fantastic. She wrote in 2022 about are, are we asking maintenance techs to do too much? If you have an opportunity, look up, re read that article that she wrote. It's fantastic, and it's about how we are facing task saturation and how we have to control what what we what we do, and you know how much um, is expected of a maintenance technician. But yeah, you know, I think when whenever you see someone else get a pay raise, and no matter what industry you're in. It's just human nature that the ones who do not get the pay raise will become jealous, and it's hard to control. Expect it, but it's but it's, it's hard to control it. So, just the grass is easy. always greener. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I, I, I was told somebody about one time. They said, uh, they said, "Well, you know, no one told you not to be a pilot." Like, eh, fair enough. So, <laughs> I love, I love, I love what I do. I, I, I love, I love working on on aircraft, and I never had any desire to, to fly and uh those those that do i i it's, it's a hard job it's it's you're away from your family a lot so you know it's you know and it, there's a short share so that's just the market yeah i think a guy i interviewed recently for a position put it well most maintenance people are pretty passionate about what they do if you did it for the money then you know you're basically in the wrong environment um there's no rich aircraft mechanic there's no famous aircraft mechanic people forget who charles taylor is I mean, so, I mean, you know, we don't do it for that. Um, there's got to be some level of satisfaction in your job and your day to day and what you do and um, what you're capable of. Um, and, and that's really where most of us, you know, that hang on to this, this environment for the long haul, we're, we're all kind of in that same boat. 